Hey guys, I'm Sna and this is Hendo. And we are going to talk about our experiences in South Africa's fashion industry and our thoughts. Hope you enjoy. In terms of like style, let's uh, style. In terms of like all the creative elements, like you know how now there's animators in the fashion industry like abroad, and we don't have the exact same of like diversity with creatives, like with stylists and like CMTs or even like like as a fashion designer yourself, like we don't work with each other. Okay, I think in terms of the different parts that kind of make an image come together so that one image or that one editorial we know we have the makeup artist the photographer the creative director yeah we know that in terms of producing the clothes it comes from not only just the design but also even the prints if a print's involved then you have the graphic designer into it if there's pleats you have a whole industry of like pleat making into it so i feel like in terms of diversity we as south africans do have it are people acknowledged for it? No. So True. Like people are not people like aren't name we don't tagging. Even, people are name tagging the people they use to make their collection come alive and yeah. we don't even know so we're like, "Oh, that's just that designer." When there's like a whole broad like like yeah, your idea people, people around, around it. it and it's just it's frustrating sometimes because you're like how do we who do you talk to to make an image come alive because you don't even know yes. you just think it's that one design straight out of varsity or even not going to varsity you don't have to go to varsity to do fashion but knowing where to go to get things done or knowing you know how to even start or where or who's going to help you it's just a problem because people aren't name sharing those things aren't available for you yeah. so everyone just keeps it very like yes, quiet hush, hush. and you want to be the only designer you want to be the only brand that kind of has everything put together and it'd be a mystery of how that one person got everything together instead of sharing and, and letting us know as a whole community grow which will benefit South everyone. Africa like it just it will help everyone yes. grow and just it'll like it'll we're on the map now, but like we on the map because of that that designer or like but there's a what? group of people who bring that image alive. Just let the people know who are you using. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we need to know. So yeah, I mean it's also the thing of like what's trending now with being supporting black owned businesses and you know, yeah. kind of going into that topic where do we even have our own or our, is our people working for other races rather in terms of not only black owned, but yeah. it's never just solidly one side. Everyone's fluid. However, not everyone's getting the perks or the... the like the money. <laughs> the perks. <laughs> the perks of it. So basically you'll have a mom that knows how to be the most amazing seamstress, but she's not helping, I don't know, Una Lady or Bongi down the street build her... I don't know her brand or something. Brand. She's helping one of the biggest brands that already exist. They already exist. exist. They already there in the market. The tech under there, and they'll keep on reproducing. But what does that mean for us? Yeah, what the does community. That mean for we aren't sharing industry. skills or sharing the network to like we're not sharing each other's network yes. to grow and it's like, it's like it's a scary thing because as a young designer myself it's like where do I go to build my brand and who do I talk to to build my brand and those that material isn't out there like you have you look and you look and you look and you're like okay where are the people like where are you guys like where is like on Instagram yes I understand that like hashtag like black owned businesses and everything but like what about letting us know uh, where to find these people it's like a lot there's a lot just going on and I think we're fortunate enough to basically live in a time where social media has that much power where you don't always need to have connections yeah but having connections in terms of our community and also remembering like basically we don't all have money especially yeah. with South Africa's status and everything or the rest of Africa I don't know why I'm only saying South Africa this whole time but we don't always have the means to make things happen so if you had a connection to make things easier that's great but having in terms of marketing and stuff we do have social media, it's social made it media to help you in terms of like oh that's a great designer but how do you get to that point where people start recognizing you how do you get to the point where you have the thread you have the material you have the image put together to a point where it's appealing to someone clicking it and supporting you yeah i think personally in my child okay cool so straight out of university i became an intern buyer and then it's you you i don't say you learn really you pick up things really quickly but you do really you do pick up your duties very quickly because they're very 
like what's the word demanding, De- uh, demanding and they're very repetitive and yeah, it's not like it's once you pick it up it's not like it's, it's like a brain challenge for you and then you get really bored especially in like my experience in corporate like you get stuck you get creatively stuck because it's 99% of buying is admin and then the other parts are creative and you do make the final decisions but like my journey like I worked and I was like this is not for me like I was trained to be a creator I was trained to be a designer like and I have some business element coming from a Fadisa background but at the same time it's I, like at what it didn't pop like I don't know how to put it like it just it wasn't it I think when you're in varsity and you have this whole idea of what you want your career to be and I don't know enough yeah. creative juice to fill that void that you have and also pay the bills you kind of move into a corporate setting because that's what is available for South Africa that's where the risk is and that's where financial stability is yeah so me as well going straight into a big corporate company that's doing well like doing their thing you get in there and you have to remember it's not about you it's not about your vision it's not about what you actually it's about what sells yes it's about what sells and it's not even don't, it, they make it seem as if it is about the customer which it is because they have to buy it however they work with what has worked and what hasn't worked in history. They work with, they step from prior and if it's worked, we're going to keep doing that, what works. Yeah. So in terms of you coming with a new idea, you can and they can test it out in small numbers, but it will never be to the extent where it's something that's truly creative and you've come up and you see it then, it's working. Everything is based on other people's decisions. Yeah. Everything is based on someone else giving you the yes or the no, no before it goes out into store or the tweaks to a point where it it's not up, even your design anymore it ends up like exactly <laughs> what there before like it's like it's literally funny how they're like oh it's a good idea and then it moves tweak, right tweak, back tweak, to that tweak, shirt tweak, tweak. right back, <laughs> back to, to the, the shirt that's been there for six years in a row in yeah. different oh. colors but i think in terms of You just have to find what works for you. And that was the advice that I was also given when going into corporate and even being there. It's like, it is for you or it's not for you. And you will feel it only when you experience it. So I can tell you now, oh no, don't Don't. go to corporate, but it works for people. Don't go, um, you know, to corporate and do your own thing and be creative. It doesn't work for some people. Some people are creative to the extent where they unique or different or stand out to a crowd where they need to have that support around them to help them with the ideas. So, I don't know, but it also goes down to whether you love the brand, are you part of the brand, do you, I don't know, are you passionate about about, it? Yeah, it does boil down to like, are you, but then it's a a, a mind trick on you because like you think, am I not that creative? Am I not? Am I, you question, you question yourself a lot and that's been like my journey to this point where everyone's like what are you doing and I'm like I'm questioning every move I make because you don't want to fail especially you don't want to fail publicly yeah. and designing and being a creative is a very public it's like public industry that's how you make your money through people and that's the one thing that triggers you when you when you want to leave corporate because you're like corporate you can hide behind the brand when you are your own brand you it's are your name, it's your you. name behind that and that's like you have to find a balance and we can't tell you how to do it, honestly. No. You just have to figure it out for yourself and hope. It's still like a learning curve, I feel. Yeah. For me, I'm still finding myself. I think it was more hard for myself to work so hard to get to a point and then you get there and it isn't what you thought it's going to be. Yeah. And then accept that, okay, maybe you should go another route or maybe just be honest with yourself of what actually do you like? That's why I also think being in this pandemic, it's like the best, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time, but it's allowing people to actually sit down and be like, Who what am do I, I like? Like, what am I actually interested in? Or why don't I do the stuff that I used to do? Or why don't I just sit down and actually build a puzzle yeah. or do a little DIY or find these little hobbies and stuff that you're actually good at and like work on that skill. Because even my problem with corporate is, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're doing something that's repetitive every day. If you like it, you like it, cool. But the world is changing and you need to adapt your skills. Yeah. So you can be good at one thing, but you're not going to be good at that one thing forever Ever. because technology is changing. What's your next step? Are you going to be only that one person who's a buyer for that? I don't know. Yeah. Like Learn, it, illustrate, yeah. go into 3D, go into animation when we're seeing all of these 
fashion shows and these amazing things like you need to be adapting your skills while also working on oh. one thing so multi what is it multifaceted people yeah. we need more <laughs> it's, hard. it's very hard to be multifaceted <laughs> but you have to be i think yeah. that's the trick of our generation is we also are just not satisfied with doing one thing yeah and if you think you're going to be then you're going to be <laughs> disappointed but happiness is kind of just doing more than one thing feeling like you have an identity and not always feeling like you trapped or yeah in this or you're part of someone else's identity yeah. like yeah i feel like that's the one issue i had with corporate i just felt like i was being pushed into their version of something and then they also don't like listening hey yeah it I, is, <laughs> it is don't want to listen or, cre- or creative criticism where it's like it's like but who are you <laughs> but who are you like and you have to remember like even with creative even just no. a simple thing as telling your idea to someone else they are not going to see, see it the, the way, way you see, see it or oh, yeah, buy it the way gonna like, it's never going to happen it until it's in the flesh and they're like oh okay cool yeah, it works or if they don't like it i learned very fast not to take things personally in don't industry personal. because you will cry yourself every day don't take anything personal, personal. do not burn any bridges, bridges yes you will find yourself this industry is so small you think it's big Mm-mm. it's a tiny circle and everybody knows, knows everybody yeah that one job that you work these <laughs> friends with someone among at the other job with you so you mm-hmm. direct the now and friends with you mm-hmm. and and then that boss is that person's best friend and then they also went to school together and you're, like, oh, it's a lot be nice to everyone. everyone keep it hush hush don't put your personal life in anything mm-hmm. because they will find you i don't know how they found me on i'm telling <laughs> I, i don't know how they find me on my private life things yeah, but they, they find, find you mm-hmm. but in terms of yeah the industry getting into it try everything out try Even it if you're young yeah you yeah try it so out too much time to try it's you have so much room for failure and you. don't be scared of failing yeah. trust and believe it's not even it's, failing it's not even because you're going to learn and you're going to be better and you're going to come back and it's going to be you, you yeah. got this like i know so much from corporate now like i do something you can't find me you cannot find me i'm like where are my swatches where are my samples yes. like for qa like you know you learn so much yeah go through the process and if it's not for you it's okay to leave like i think we change. learned that it's okay to change i don't need to change your mind should we be collaborating should we be collaborating i think we should i think we've started do i think we're doing enough no um yeah we've seen this with woolworths collaborating with i think they had five yeah five different um south african designs designers, which was actually good to see collections yeah, yeah. Well, i was and so excited amazing. i was so excited and i think that. that kind of helped them get a platform or a big, bigger audience, audience. Not a platform but a bigger audience it did help and in terms of the rest they're not doing it they no, they're not really doing not. enough but i am seeing some i think rich collaborated with i think it was alcohol was that alcohol yes yeah, it was Jen, next yeah. Time. sorry <laughs> <laughs> he did the whole alcohol thing which is cool because we love him and yeah Um, <laughs> but in terms of collaborating yeah i think people should be collaborating i think it really does help i think it's sharing audiences yeah. i think it's just having your audience and your target market kind of fuse and then you guys both grow together the same thing of you you do grow yeah together. you build the industry when you collaborate and when you share and yeah that i think Most of the interest is not coming from South Africa but coming from abroad. From abroad yeah. into South Africa. Africa. Like everyone else sees our potential but instead of us seeing yeah, each other. We don't see our, <laughs> we, we see competition, see competition like, instead of one. like yeah yes. it's like I need to be on top or it's like nah I must help my sis to get like yeah. it's a it's Yeah but we all I think once we see that the world is like literally trying to get our designers out into it we'll actually start no, collab- they're not even budging. Okay, we're not budging. I mean, <laughs> corporate didn't they not even budge. I, For them it's like do you you know in line with our values do you this? they're not seeing the actual potential of clients generally really, the yeah. space is on something you're going to buy just because it's the on the space. Yeah. They don't see that aspect. They, For them it's like Does it it's not chill. Ooh, let me not say the name. It's not. <laughs> God damn, there are so many. Hi, I'm one of them. <laughs> I haven't started. <laughs> I haven't started. Yet. So oh. many. But I mean, I think there's so many for everything. Yeah. I think like people like acting like 
the market is so saturated. And it's really not. And it's people's like big dogs with this. Like if you go into a mall, let's just talk about. No, okay, let me not involve words. <laughs> Chewett and the Fushini Group. Yeah. They own nearly all the stores. You out there like, oh, I don't wear this. Like, I'm going to go support them. They're not my style. Well, yeah. It's they, the same company, company the same umbrella. Like, You're giving yeah. the money to the same okay. place. But, yeah. like, I feel like for us, ugh, more people just have to be in the mix. People aren't being seen. Yeah. But then again, we also don't like supporting things yeah. we don't know, we and like names. Exactly. I was going to say the same thing. Like, it's so funny. It's very hard to be a creative because, yes, you're building in your own circle, but then the people in your circle don't want to pay. They don't want to pay. And they keep questioning your price. And you're like, this is the best. I, did, I didn't pull this out of thin air, guys. Yeah. Like, I, this is my best price. Like... If I go any cheaper, I'm underselling myself and my worth. Like, no, you're worth in 2020. Like, come on. I think it's like also a mentality thing yep. in South Africa or Africans. I don't know. And I see this in Joburg where in Orlando, Soweto, you'll have Maponya Mall. And it's like, okay, it's Maponya Mall. They built a mall for you guys for it to be convenient. There's stores there. But you're not going to go. They don't actually want to go shop there. They, they'll buy groceries. But, they but the young designers of the space, of the they space don't want to the... shop there, they don't want to support the designers. But they're going to go to Santan and Rosebank and go buy Chanel. <laughs> and go support there or go buy Chanel oh. or go buy Gucci or whatever. They have their market. But like they choose what they want to support and we also just don't have that support and no. it's something, it's a mental thing. So thank you. That is literally what they want to do. Yeah. And it's... It's not fair. They want to be your friends when you got the cash and the coin, but they don't want to be your friends when you are struggling and trying to build things up. It's yeah. the same. But I also think like people have to remember every industry or I don't know, every topic, politics and everything kind of affects that. Yeah. Like your whole SWAT and your pastel with your business, everything will affect that. Yeah. Everything that's happening economically, everything that's happening well, with your environment, everything plays a that's part. happening with your social structure, your people, that's all going to affect that. And it's like, you have to remember kind of where you are, kind of where you are and the things you're gonna have to deal with and kind of overcome. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can have discussions and say, hey guys, let's support black owned businesses and whatever, but now it's happening because it's a trend. Yeah. And it's happening because it's happening in the US or the UK and I don't know, police brutality and everything that's happening. But yeah. not because we someone actually wanted a change. Yeah. yeah. And this is home. People forget. Make your home the best place first. Make yeah. everything okay for you. They'd rather go where things are okay to run away from their problems because everyone thinks the car the grass is green. You're on the other side and it's and it's not. It's when not you could be you could be making green <laughs> over here. But you don't want to, so. Yeah. I had this fight with someone and we kept saying. It's definitely not Cape <laughs> <laughs> Who was trying to say that? <laughs> Me! Okay, this is, uh, okay. Where do you think the fashion hub is? Because, wow. No, but the first thing, oh, I'm telling you, when I came to Cape Town, the first thing I noticed is all of you dress the exact same. We like, do. What <laughs> We all my buy. jeans and the, it was all twins everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, whew, okay, what's going on? Like, it's just scary. No, the only people that dress different is like you have to be like a creative or you have to be, yeah. I don't know, in music or film or animation yeah. or then suddenly you have like some. Type I know of better style. now, Tando. I know better now, guys. Like, I know better yeah, now. Like, but like before, I was like, yeah, we start all the trends. <laughs> You don't start anything. You don't start anything. We don't start. We just Joburg we buy from everything. I, I feel the same. I feel like Joburg, like especially now with Afropunk. I'm ha well, it's not gonna happen now. this year. Not now, but like that's when I started realizing that there's so much, so much creativity because like it was being put out there like in a very like well-known space, and I was like, oh my god, people. People everyone, dress dope. No, like, people have their own style. Yeah. Like, like people, everyone has their own style. Everyone style has. From your gogo, -go and you're now dressing up like her, or the swag of like, even, even our subcultures. Your bantulas. You guys have a lots of stuff. So I feel like in Cape Town we have yes. like one, or like in winter we all wear that like cocky jacket, and everyone has that cocky jacket. Like, no. It's like, yeah. The way our Scotana is. Like, <laughs> can you have our custard? Can you have like we have yeah. our? Everyone has a little vibe. little vibe, yeah. And no, it's been like that since back in the day with your grandpops. 
There's a subculture. What is that name? Which one? The one where they dress like old, yeah, like grandfathers, they, with, with the, the blazer the and the, the, and the, the, the shoes, the shoes and. Everyone yeah. had and the this. brief. I once saw a guy carrying a briefcase. They still do. The young <laughs> ones have like. the swag of the old ones. You know a that. Briefcase. Uh, uh, no, that's no. Central Hub is Central Hub is Joburg, definitely. We both can agree. Yeah. And so you, like, yeah. I don't see anywhere else. I don't know why Pretoria is always yap yap yapping, trying to be. <laughs> no, Pretoria is literally like, oh, we also yeah, Joburg's nothing. We 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 like, where do you fit in, Pretoria? <laughs> sure, like, why are you? Pretoria is, Pretoria is coming. Isn't it? it is. Like, I don't even like Pretoria the is the main. Our South African like, yeah, no, that's but Pretoria. They fight you, hey? Like, they, let's they give them respect. Like Pretoria, they're we respect up. you. They're coming up. But Cape Town must stop thinking they're number one. They're not. Can we be number two then? No, I'd rather put Victoria and they are You'd rather replace and even go so, East and Cape, put them in. So it's okay, so it's for you it's Joburg, Pretoria, Eastern I, I have to question the Eastern Cape one. Actually I don't know what's happening in Exactly. Cape, but I know it's better than yeah. <laughs> and then Cape Town, so So we're number four. Sorry other provinces, she doesn't recognize you. <laughs> I'm not good at even geography, so it started me. But, uh, uh, yeah, what else? That is, I think, I guess, it's a, it's a Joburg wins the fashion hub situation. All of the fashion weeks and everything that's All that happens in Joburg, yeah, in Joburg. And you guys, yeah. I think it happens, yeah, but started way. way yeah. You guys do take it to the next level with the have, oh, oh my god. I'm gonna get into. Uh, I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> you, you're gonna get dragged. I'm gonna get dragged. <laughs> you're gonna get of. dragged. It's tight net. Okay, I give yeah. you guys full permission to drag. <laughs> tight net in Cape Town. Yeah, it is. Way. I think in Cape Town, it is a very tight, like little, and then it doesn't grow. It's either you are that weird creative and you're by yourself, or you and your squad are just a, a, like a bunch of Even random. In terms of diversity, it, yeah. like, it's too yeah. segregated still. It's like, too, oh, we do have Cape Town. Like we don't share each other's no. like and then it's your little squad and then that little squad and has in a Joburg we took over yeah. like we you guys yeah like no one in yeah. Joburg everyone's doing their own thing you're not gonna tell anyone anything like yeah. you think you can do it do it and the thing I think it's also that mentality of always wanting to do better yeah. you know what I mean like you'll think everyone is hustling it's not a hustle town you just know that I want to be in a your m- brother and your sister yeah. is working two jobs to make ends meet so why are you chilling here knowing you're doing one thing like let me also up my game, game and yeah. end up all all upping it yeah and over here we do adopt that it's culture it's in Cape Town it is it's so relaxed it's it makes you and forget ten years goes by <laughs> And you've been doing the same job, and yeah. you don't know people. You're yeah, comfortable, not comfortable, so like comfortable, comfortable. Like we're comfortable in like doing one thing, and then it you just. No, then you wake up, and, and one day you wake up, and you're like, yo, oh, well, like, you know, let me also try this. Like, <laughs> let me. And you're wondering why the 2000s are beating you already. Like, yeah, they already asked these they, questions a long time ago. They answered and asked these questions a while, and we are like, what's happening, guys? Yeah. Let's just sit down and talk about this. But I love Cape Town. I say yes. So. She loves yeah. She has a residential card and everything. We love Cape Town. Mm-hmm. Not hate. <laughs> Dragger, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I love the beach. <laughs> the we have the beach. <laughs> What yeah. do you do? Hike and go to the yeah, beach? Yeah, we, we hike and go to the beach and then our, our we do the whole spot lux thing. We don't actually. We no, just I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We try. Okay, we're talking about fashion. Anyway, fashion yes. hub and most stores that are available, most stores that come into South Africa first, go do to, generally go to Johannesburg. Yep. It's like H&M and everything you think it's coming yeah first yeah, but then first, yeah first, you guys get everything it everything goes there first yeah you see how south africans react to it you see how majority of the yeah. numbers of people react to it and then they'll bring it yeah that's how it and works then, just and then so we're number two yeah i she changed yeah. no maybe number three yeah, we number. Sorry, I keep forgetting. You see, <laughs> you, see, forget see you forget Pretoria. Why are they number Actually, two? If they like, if no, people forget, they're cool. We love you, Pretoria. I don't even know what happens in Pretoria, we but don't know. <laughs> we just hate, but we don't know. Probably yeah. it's nice. Is it nice? I want, okay, one day we'll see the fashion. I never heard of Pretoria Fashion Week though. Like. Either way, whether you're in Cape Town or that side, you're doing vibes. Yeah. Street style. You just gotta help your people out. Yeah. Your homies at home. Help them. Pop them up. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So we'll see you in the next video. And if you want to suggest any topics you want to know or anything you want to know, comment. please comment and subscribe and click the bell, all those beautiful things. And we'll catch you on the next video.